Hi, my name is Marjorie Odegaard, and I'm a third year general surgery resident at Hennepin Healthcare in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The abstract I'm sharing is about sternal fractures in the pediatric trauma population. Authors of this study have nothing to disclose. Sternal fractures are a rare but potentially devastating injury. Many studies show a high rate of associated injury as well as high rate of mortality compared to trauma patients without sternal fractures in the pediatric population. Also, most studies on this topic are case reports or single center studies. So we set up to analyze whether sternal fracture is a predictor of discharge requiring additional care such as rehab or mortality in the pediatric blunt trauma population. We use the most recent year of data available from the KID, which is released every three years for our analyses. ICD-10 codes were used to identify injuries and regression analysis was used to identify factors associated with poor outcomes. We also calculated the weighted incidence of sternal fractures. This slide shows how we selected our patient population, patients under 18 who suffered blunt injuries. Those with unknown disposition were excluded. We also excluded patients covered by Medicare because these children are often chronically ill from birth and live in care facilities full time. This gave us a cohort of over 50,000 pediatric blunt trauma hospitalizations with 236 including sternal fractures. After adjusting using survey weight, sampling clusters, and stratum, the annual weighted incidence of sternal fracture in the pediatric blood trauma population was 0.43 per 100,000. The next several slides compare demographics and outcomes among our two cohorts. I want to point out a few notable aspects of our data. Patients with sternal fractures tended to be older and male, but only age was statistically significant. Patients with sternal fractures were also more likely to have motor vehicle collision as their trauma mechanism. Injury severity in the kid is defined using all patient refined diagnosis related group severity developed by 3M health information systems. In our study, significantly more pediatric blood trauma patients with sternal fractures were classified as having major or extreme trauma. Additionally, 21% of those with sternal fractures needed mechanical ventilation, while only 6% without sternal fracture required it. Common injuries associated with sternal fracture included severe head injury, pneumothorax, hemothorax, rib fracture, blunt abdominal trauma, hip fractures, and spinal fracture. Finally, 20% of sternal fracture patients discharged to additional care compared to only 5% of those without sternal fractures. Similarly, mortality was significantly higher in those with sternal fracture. However, multivariable logistic regression analysis after adjusting for factors associated with trauma outcomes showed that sternal fracture was not an independent predictor of mortality or discharge to a higher level of care. To conclude, sternal fracture in the pediatric blunt trauma population is associated with more frequent discharges to higher level of care and mortality, but is not an independent predictor of either of those outcomes.